So my girlfriend's first name is Jessie, and my best friend's last name is McCartney. So if they get married, she'll be... Hey, what is up guys? It is Mike and good news. So post a brand like my last video and they were like, hey, could you do a video on your other major, which would be computer science? And I was like, yeah, of course. So if you guys didn't know, I'm majoring in film and computer science. So today I'm gonna give you some tips on how to take notes for computer science and how to organize notes for computer science using Post-it brand products and some cool notebooks, shall we? Okay, so first things first, even though it's computer science, a lot, or if not all of the notes have to be taken on pen and paper. In fact, all of the computer science classes that I've had require that your notes be taken down on pen and paper. Even a lot of the code in beginning computer science classes is written down on pen and paper. So bring a large notebook and a pen to class, and this notebook is going to be the catch-all. It's going to be for all your class notes, and every piece of information that your teacher or your professor gives you should be written in this notebook. So take your notes in any way that you can understand, whether that be outline, bullet points, essaying, writing down everything he says, recording it and writing it down later. However you get your notes, do it that way. Also, if your teacher draws a lot of examples or graphs or diagrams or anything along those lines, grab a post-it grid note and slap it down in one of the pages and draw that diagram as best you can and save it for later because a lot of the times that is exactly what you need to know and you just need to follow what they did. So very important, keep that. Now put a post-it notebook kit in the back of your notebook to make your note taking even more effective. Now in the post-it study kit, give each flag a specific meaning. So for example, orange means that it's on the test. Blue can be for diagrams, green can be for anything that you find important, and pink is for the master book, which is what I will explain soon. Now the yellow post-it notes at the top of the study kit can go at the top of your notebook to separate lessons. Dope. Most dope, actually. Another piece of advice I have is if you ever have to copy down code, flip your notebook over and write the code on the back of the notebook forward so that way your code and your notes don't interfere because they don't get along very well and they're gonna confuse you when the test comes up. And you could also organize your handwritten code with the post-it study kit or you can use some different colored flags if you want but if you don't want those tabs sticking out of the notebook, put them on the inside so it's kind of a sub-organization thing going on. It's really cool. Anyways, moving on. Okay, remember that master notebook I told you guys about before when I pointed at the camera and said use the pink flags for this? Well, this is going to be your ultimate personal computer science notebook that has everything that you could possibly need when you're coding or if you're taking an open notes test or if you're in class and you need to write something down. This is the ultimate notebook for that. So. First things first. Okay, so the first step is to get a nice, medium-sized, hardcover notebook that will last you for years because this notebook is also going to last you for years. I suggest getting a notebook that has blank pages on the inside instead of lined because a lot of the times the paper is thicker so you don't have to worry about bleed through with markers or pens. So grab a post-it grid note and label it table of contents and put it on the back of the front cover. Next, on the first page or few pages of the notebook, write down the definitions of the key terms of coding like conditional statements, while loops, if-else, or if-then statements, and other aspects of codes that you find important. And leave a page or two blank too for the terms that you learn as you delve deeper into the computer science world that we all live in. Alright, so after you've copied everything down and you left a few pages blank, Grab a post-it flag and label it terms so that way you can flip back to it quicker. Also be sure to write down terms in the table of contents and be sure to include the page numbers if you want to label your pages to get back even quicker. Now on the next page write the essential code needed to start a basic program in the language that you've learned. And since there's so many different languages that you're going to be learning, these pages are going to fill up and it's going to be really nice to be able to flip back to them really quick if you can't remember. Finally make a page of hello world programs in the different languages that you've learned. The Hello World program is basically a really small program that just makes the computer say Hello World and that's it, it's just a line of text. It's really simple, but later once you start to learn a lot of different languages, it'll help you remember some of the syntax needed that goes with each different language. Syntax, by the way, in computer programming is the characters, words, and symbols used to make up each individual language. Okay, remember when I said, and pink is for the master book, which is what I will explain soon. Everything that you flagged pink in your big notebook gets transferred over into your little notebook. So for any notes that you took during class that are very important that you know you're gonna need for a long time, put them in this notebook. And also the diagrams that you copied down, pull off the post-it grid notes and put them inside your small notebook so that way you can flip back to them. 
and a bam you have the ultimate personalized computer science notebook at your hands that is looking quite stylish might i add and it'll help you in class as you start to go up the computer science levels you will notice that the classes get harder but also the classes become open notes and open books and open computers so this will be invaluable as you climb the ladder that is computer science so anyways, I wish you guys the best if you are taking computer science, but this can also be used in any other class, really. I just use computer science because that's the class I'm taking. If you like this video and you want to see another video involving post-it brains, you can click on my face, and I will show you how to storyboard using some notebooks, too. I will see you guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one, okay? Bye.